Hey guys, Proper English here, and today I've got something awesome for you. This is my latest line drawer. This is the new version, and it's insane. Watch how fast this is. There was a little bit of lag between the first and second point because there's an initialization step, so that takes a little longer. But following that, it's got a rate of one point every 12 ticks, which is insane. I had to do a lot of crazy logic tricks to get this thing running so fast. And as you can see, we've got our line. So I'm going to reset this and we'll put in a different line. Let's try something with a negative slope. All right, so let's set up a two down here, a 13 over here, and of course this is all in binary. We'll put a 9 over here, and finally we'll put a 4 over here. So we have 2, 13, and 9, 4. So these are our x coordinates over here, and these are the y coordinates. This thing takes two points as an input, and it uses those points to draw a line. Okay, so it's calculating all of the other points based on the endpoints. And as you can see between the first two points, like I said before, there's a little bit of extra delay, but following that, it's ridiculously fast. And yeah, I'm really happy with this thing. It took a lot of work to get this thing running at this speed, but it's so worth it. So now that you've seen two examples, let's take a look at the circuit itself. As you can see, this circuit is kind of ridiculous. It's huge, and the reason for that is because I've been minimizing piston usage in these sorts of builds. And if we float around, you'll actually only see a handful of pistons in the form of monostables. And we've got two piston-based binary counters in here because they're awesome. Other than that, there are only pistons on the reset line, which don't really matter. Everything else is solid state. In fact, if we look over here, you'll see a very high performance component that I developed over a year ago. This is the proper look ahead adder. This thing is four ticks for eight bits. It's insanely fast. And yeah, I spent a good two months or so developing the logic and implementing it into Redstone. So this thing's pretty cool. At some point, I'm going to do an ultra advanced tutorial on how this thing works, but we'll save that for a little bit later. Over here, I've got some repeater lock registers. Those things are awesome. And down here is where a lot of the speed manifests. So this is a comparator. Okay, I've got another comparator down here, and these things have a delay of two ticks which is ridiculous for a comparator. And the reason I was able to get it that fast is because what I did was I streamlined these. I got rid of any unnecessary functions. So these are highly specialized circuits intended to perform only one function, but do it really, really fast. And so that is what really drives the speed in this thing right here, because if I didn't have these down to two ticks, it'd probably be somewhere around five ticks for a general purpose circuit. That adds three ticks, and that's lame. And so yeah, this thing is separated into two sections. This is the initialization over here. All right, so that's what calculates a bunch of constants that are used in the loop over here. And this is what performs the actual calculation. Now that I've gotten this thing complete, and I'm really happy with it. I can get to work on the new ellipse drawer, which is going to be really fun. Like I said in a previous video, I've already built the loop for it, so I just have to build the initialization and do some work to bug test. And so that will probably take one to two weeks, hopefully a little sooner, but it's gonna be cool. This thing is going to rock. And once I've got all three of these circuits, the fancy box drawer, the line drawer, and the ellipse and circle drawer, then we can get started on actually assembling the GPU. Because these are all the image rendering components. And once those are done, the rest is actually not too bad because I've already got a lot of the other components built. 
So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.